Yo, yo, Mix by Gabriel here. I'm about to give you guys some amazing tips to mix your background vocals. So first and foremost, keep in mind that you can treat your background vocals completely separate from your lead vocals, meaning if you don't have enough high-end frequencies in your lead vocal, you can do that on the double, therefore kind of bypassing the harshness and upfrontness of a lead vocal with a lot of boosting on the high frequencies. So right here, you can see me using the doubler, specifically taking out the middle section of the doubler, meaning the mono signal, and just keeping the signal on the stereo on the sides for just the double. So just basically the backgrounds basically are just going to be on the left and right, very hard panned. Um, and what that does is really just give you a very wide mix, wide sounding mix. Um, but yeah, so basically I like to compress my background vocals more than my lead vocals and also DS them. Um, and like I said, a super dope trick I want all y'all to try. This is the Gabe trick. You basically are going to use your um, background vocals as the reverb um, vocal, basically. So basically what that does is allow your lead vocal to cut very clearly, very, you know, straight in the middle. And then you have that nice, less reverb.